what do we do, learn from all of this? That uh, unless we persuade our <coughs> system, education system, to start teaching a lot of people the history of the Middle East in a more accurate and more balanced way, about the way in which the Palestinian people have been so demonized and so terrorized and so abused from the First World War onwards, and the way in which they've been systematically discriminated against by the um, big powers around the world, we will then end up with the endless presentation that somehow or other the conflict between um, Israel and Palestine is a conflict of equal powers. It is not. Israel has nuclear weapons, the world's biggest, biggest, fourth biggest arms exporter, unlimited military budget provided by the, uh, by the United States, and uh, the Palestinian people are, generally speaking, very poor. In the case of Gaza, virtually uh, imprisoned within that very small area and facing the environmental disaster and catastrophe. And in the West Bank, under occupation of the very sort that uh, would be recognizable by many people in Europe who suffered occupation during the Second World War with the endless roadblocks, imprisonment, irrational behavior by the military uh, and the police. We have to get that message across. And the points that Jenny and Claire made about the ignorance of politicians of um, all parties in all countries in Europe on it is, uh, is something to behold.